if you drive a Honda with an aftermarket ECU, you're probably a little bit familiar that the temperature gauge does not like to work very easily. It's a known problem on S2000s, apparently the Odyssey here. Now in order to fix this, it's a very complicated process. You have to basically interrupt the signal coming out of the ECU and you know change it up so that the gauge cluster can make sense of it. Unfortunately, that's a little more work than I wanna do. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna do a really cheap digital gauge cluster. That's right, so I'm going to use the auxiliary video input on the radio head unit I have in order to display gauges from the tuning software on my laptop. Now this is also just incredibly useful for displaying more stuff than your normal gauge cluster does without having to buy, you know, an individual gauge for every single one of those features. You can even use it for a couple other fun features. I mean, you could play videos on it, anything, because it's literally gonna be a second screen for the laptop. So in order to do it, I've got this little adapter box right here. It's gonna take an HDMI signal and convert it into RCA, which I can actually funnel into the head unit. And on top of that, just because the laptop I've got only outputs DisplayPort, DVI, VGA, those couple connectors, I have a DisplayPort to HDMI adapter. So we're, we're gonna see if this works. I'm gonna have to pull this panel out, so oh, shut up. And then, and this is always fun. There we go. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the unit out, and we're gonna start plugging stuff in. Look at that. Hold on out here, and All right, okay. My head unit has two inputs on the back for video. We're gonna go ahead and use one of those. Side note, the RCA cable I've got here, it's definitely an audio cable. I'm not certain if I'm gonna be able to send video through this or not, because it, it probably doesn't have the right shielding or anything. But we're gonna go ahead and just try this out because it turns out I don't have any extra RCA cables. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna go and get another cable at some point and yeah, hopefully this works, because I don't want to have to pull this back out again. Right, and we gotta route this too. Hold on here. I can tell it's like really close. There we go. I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, there we go. Cool, 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 cool. All right, we've got everything over here connected and now that all that's left is I gotta get the tripod out of the way and basically try it out. Alrighty, so everything's hooked up. Already the computer is detecting a second display and I haven't even turned anything on. Okay, that seems about right. Oh, I'm gonna get copy striped. Okay, right, so it's not that camera or that input rather. Oh, let's see, uh, stand by. Hey, there we go. It looks terrible, but hey, that's pretty sweet. So we can actually see what's going on on our screen here. So if I was to pull up my tuning software, you can see everything for that right there. That's pretty awesome. Now, obviously I'd wanna fix up the, uh, the quality here, and that's probably related to the, the cables I'm using. No signal, uh, whatever. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. You might be wondering why you would do this, and like I said, it's if you have a gauge cluster that might have gauges that don't work, you might have a few that you wish you had. It makes use of what you already have in most cases. So really cheap, it's like $20, and works fantastic. If you wanna see more of this weird kind of hacky stuff and working on the van and bunch of other fun things I've got in store. Go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys. See you next time.